What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel Total Technology this is tutorial 39 and today's topic is going to be very exciting as per uh, the name you will understand like how to generate barcode using report lab so barcode means yes I'm talking about the barcode whatever we have already seen in our product or any sort of uh, things or whenever you go for some sort of movie ticket ad ticket nowadays QR code is there but still 90% uh, of the cases you will see barcode uh, like written somewhere inside the product or whatever you purchase or any product any electronics product any small big whatever so we'll uh, we'll discuss how to uh, develop that barcode and yes I'm not going to talk about the uh, actual uh, mathematics behind that but probably we can do it in the later part in some other series but this topic will be going to show you how you can use report lab to create or generate your own barcode okay so today's topic will be code 39 barcode it is one of the barcode topic and again it's very popular so code 9 code 39 is a common barcode type used for various labels such as name badges inventory and industry application the symbology of the code 9 character set consists of barcode simple representing 0 to 9 uppercase character means a to z and the space and the following character so uh, hyphen dot dollar slash plus and percentage so in code 39 barcode generally mostly mm, we use for all the products inventory or any other uh, sort of thing so now the topic is how to generate code 39 barcode so let's go to our id okay we'll be using report lab graphics okay from report lab dot graphics dot barcode import code 39 okay and next thing from port lab dot latipus simple doc template and paragraph I will define the style sheet so report lab dot leap dot styles import get sample style sheet and we'll define the PDF object so this is going to be PDF and then simple doc template will give name let's say tutorial 39.pdf okay yes this is tutorial 39 so just let me change this thing to tutorial 39 okay and then we'll define one flowable object like normal this we'll define one styles is going to be get get sample style sheet okay and then we'll define the code for our case so let's say code is going to be sorry code text is going to be uh, let's say hyphen as we can see that we can use this uh, hyphen okay so hyphens let's say we'll give some product name so in our case let's say this is a paste okay then hyphen the name of the product is colgate then let's say volume is 100 gram and let's say price is five us dollar and it start with this and now we'll define the code so this is going to be uh, code 39 dot standard 39 then we'll write the code test that's it and now we need to append this thing so flow obj dot append and we'll write this code okay and you can write flow underscore dot obj mm can write some paragraph as well but I'm just thinking we do we need this or not okay so we can, we can, we can, we can leave this thing out okay so what I'll do just pdf dot build 
flow obj okay so if we run this thing there will be one barcode with this uh, with generated from this code so let's run this thing first okay terminated so let me refresh this thing okay yes it's here so this is the barcode we got it okay now what i'll do uh, i'll show you that whatever is written it is coming up here or not so one thing the barcode is always ends with another character so after this hyphen there will be one more character so now we need to decode this thing tutorial 39 so i'll decode this thing so what i'll do this is a website or one of the service you can use this website for api uh, uh, by api and you need to pay something but again for the free thing we can use so i just select code 39 then i will choose, choose this thing and after that i'll just go to desktop and let me file my this is this is our file uh, tutorial39.pdf so this is uploaded and then read so see this is paste as i told you everything is capital paste colgate 100 gram 5 usd and the end character is this top character okay so this is normal so what i'll do i'll try to do one more example so it will be easier so what i'll do uh, colgate let's say max white let's see how it happens now how we take this thing okay so it's generated new thing okay so let me just go to my browser okay so new file choose file okay new file haven't came here yet yes now it came 734 is the last update date okay and read let's see see colgate max white 100 gram everything so you can e easily decode and check that whether it is generating the correct barcode or not so now the thing is that uh, let me explain you what happens actually i know all of you are uh, familiar with this thing so whenever some barcode scanner or any uh, sort of light sort of a thing if you go to any shopping mall or somewhere they will only scan this thing if they have a scanning device so whenever they scan this thing easily this uh, like things come as a parsable string and from the string they easily got the product name and price and the gram so all those things are automatically pasted or printed inside your invoice and after that when they took or when they uh, take the thermal printer for the printing method you will easily get the invoice and written with this so now you'll understand like why after scanning this thing immediately they got paste colgate max volume and the price everything comes automatically so this is how it is actually coming so this is very normal thing okay so one more thing we can do it uh, that is like a uh, height of the bar so that is also possible bar height so let's write maybe 20 i'm not sure this is a correct attribute or not let me check yes bar height so this is small okay so what i'll do i'll just make it 50 see it bigger right this is bigger now so this is a very simple thing if you have any uh, generating any sort of report and the report you want to talk about uh, talk about the product and the product uh, barcode or something like that you have any uh, like recommendation or you are generating some report and the report should uh, give you some sort of uh, passcode and the passcode has to be come from the barcode then easily you can develop this thing using report lab graphics okay so let me just copy paste this thing we'll put it here and one more requirement is that uh, suppose you are working for uh, one of the one of the biggest uh, or one of the um, like retail or whatever like those are actually uh, maintaining the inventory or something similar to that and your requirement is that you have to generate the barcode for every product 
okay so without uh, going for any third party package or any other software or without investing any uh, money you can easily get it from the uh, report lab so what will happen now i'll i'll teach you that thing in the later video suppose you are having a requirement for generating barcode for 100 uh, product okay 100 different product and after that once you generate the barcode the labels will be printed from the thermal printer and will be pasted inside uh, oh, sorry not inside the the top of the product wrapper or package or container whatever the different forms uh, probably the uh, products are having maybe some of the uh, products are coming in as a uh, jar or bottle or uh, plastic container or anything so the requirement is that you have a hundred types of product and you need to uh, generate the barcode from those hundred type of product and after that you need to paste uh, those things so your job is to generate the unique uh, barcodes and after that your printing team or the packaging team will do the rest so now if you invest lots of money onto your software and other product to generate the barcode that is not going to help you whenever python is giving this sort of feature you can definitely use this sort of things okay so probably we can do it that in the next video uh, i'll uh, create an inventory of 100 different product and i'll show you how to use that inventory to create multiple barcodes okay so that will be one of the use case so i'm excited <laughs> just now i just uh, came up with this idea probably in the next video which is tutorial which is going to be tutorial 40 in that part we'll discuss this thing okay so that's all for today that's all for this week i'm not sure whether i'll be up going to upload one more video this week or this is saturday i need to go out so we can do some more videos probably in uh, saturday uh, sorry sunday evening or if not possible then monday so Till then take care goodbye and please keep watching our other videos channel try to do some sort of practice if you have any problem doubt uh, and suggestion and if you have any other idea for other use case you can definitely write me but um, don't forget to write your own code by your own then only we'll get something uh, out of this tutorial okay so that's all for today that's all for this week hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and don't forget to subscribe our channel hit the like button hit the bell icon share our videos with family and friend keep watching keep subscribing to our channel that's it for today hope to see in the next video once again take care goodbye